our devices can come with multiple SIM slots and it can be confusing how they work. All our designs so far allow for one modem to be using one SIM card at the same time. So if you have multiple slots or a dual slot hardwired to a single modem, you will need to switch in router OS between them. But this is only possible if the design allows it. As we do have products that can hold multiple modems and each slot has its own SIM slot. So in those cases you cannot switch between which SIM is for which modem. You can easily verify whether you will be able to switch between the SIM slots by looking at the block diagram. A rhomboid between the slots signifies that they can be toggled. The way you toggle can vary a little between products. On SXT, for example, you would be switching between slots A and B, while on LTAP you would be switching between 2 and 3. This is because there are three SIM slots, but the first one is hardwired to the mini PCIe slot 1, and the slots 2 and 3 is actually a 2-in-1 slot hardwired to the mini PCIe slot 2. Hence in these two products, you could have one modem using one SIM, another one being able to toggle between the other two. But whichever device you are using, you can toggle between the SIM slots from either the terminal under the Interface LTE Settings section or from the GUI by choosing the Interfaces LTE and clicking the Modem button. Another thing you should note about the SIM slots is that they can come in three different sizes. The Standard SIM, Micro SIM and Nano SIM. Usually when you buy one SIM card, it breaks into three pieces allowing you to combine if necessary to fit into either of those three slot sizes. If you insert a SIM which is too small into a bigger slot, even if you manage to get it working, it will likely move out of place and get stuck there forever, so don't do it. Whenever you are inserting a SIM card in a new product, pay attention to any labels near the slot. The correct alignment of the SIM is usually displayed using the shape of a rectangle with a cut-off corner. If you have done everything correctly, the SIM will be detected and your modem will be searching for a network to join. However, in some cases, if your device is having issues detecting the SIM card, it could be simply due to the SIM card being too thin for the slot. A quick fix would be to add a layer of tape to the back of the SIM card before inserting it. Hopefully, this makes everything very clear about our SIM slots. But if you still have any doubts, just ask your distributor for more information before purchasing. And if you ever forget which slot is for which modem, you can even go to our product page and view the block diagram for the particular device as it will show you what the SIM slot is hardwired to.